Hey everyone, welcome to the next video where we will be talking about Poe. This will be a brief introduction to Poe so that we can get started with our outline, our scene beats, and our writing in the next video. So Poe, something to keep in mind because we just came from Novel Crafter, is that Poe will not organize your book like that. It's not specifically made for novels, so you will still want to have separate documents for your outline and your prose so that you can keep everything organized. That's why I have mine up here. You can also have one for those post-production things that we did at the end of the Novel Crafter series where we talked about the blurb, the synopsis, tags, our target reader, those kind of things. All good notes to have. Keep them in a separate document so that they don't get lost. So Poe is fun in a way because it has so many different bots. You can think of it as a hub for bots where these are all available to you and there are so, so many of them. It's a crazy amount of bots, but all the ones that you're used to hearing about like GPT-4, like Claude, like Playground, those are all available within Poe. The other thing to keep in mind is that Poe is a subscription model. So if you do yearly, it's about $16 a month. If you do monthly, it's about $20 a month. This is USD. But the nice thing to keep in mind with Poe is that you don't have to have a subscription. You have to have an account, but you don't have to have a subscription. I don't have a subscription to Poe with the other ones that I have, I don't find that Poe is necessary for me to do the monthly plan as well. You can still get a ton out of it without doing the subscription. It's just that some of the AIs will be off limits. Some of them will have a small message. You know, like you may only get a few messages from them before they say, hey, you need to subscribe or they may be way slowed down for their responses. So you may only get like three or four messages in a day. That's okay. We don't need it that much. And the one that I'll be showing you, we actually won't run into that at all. The other thing that I think is important to keep in mind with Poe is that finances should not be a barrier to being able to use AI, to enjoy AI, and to improve what you do and to make writing easier and more fun for you. If you hate writing blurbs, like I'm not a fan of writing blurbs. Yeah, so have the AI help you with that. Tweak the blurb that they give you so that it's more in line with your genre, more in line with what you see for your blurb. But if you hate doing something, don't stress about it. Let the AI help you. And the nice thing about Poe is that there are plenty of AIs in here that you can play with that are free or that have the first few messages free. From there, okay, you're fine. You know, you made a blurb. Great. So don't feel like you have to subscribe. If you love Poe and you love having all the AI bots at your fingertips and you don't want the restrictions for messaging or for you know, some of them you can't use at all, then absolutely subscribe. But I wanted to show you Poe because I don't want anyone to feel like, you know, AI is just about subscriptions and you can't do anything unless you have subscriptions. And, you know, there's some people who can't afford it. And I get that. So Poe is a great option. And this book that we're going to be writing, all done in Poe, with no subscription. So hopefully you like it. Hopefully if you haven't tried Poe, you try it out because it's a lot of fun. It's fun having all of this at your fingertips. You know, there's things like if you play D&D, there's D&D bots. If you want your tarot read, there's tarot bots. You can do so much with Poe. It's a lot of fun. Definitely explore it and stick around for the next video because we're going to be making an outline and we're going to make scene beats and we're making a whole new book all with info thanks for watching talk to you all later